No art form is better suited to interrogating the representation of the body and the value society attributes to those bodies than dance. Dance collective La Horde has headed up Marseille's National Ballet since September 2019. For more than 10 years now, Marine Brouty, Jonathan De Brouwe and Arthur Arel have been coming up with new and exciting ways to conceive of the medium of dance, both classical and contemporary. Together we consider philosophical ideas. A lot of our research is based on stories that are transmitted orally, the spoken word. We might find inspiration in something we've read. It's all about seeing how the body can communicate ideas. Ideas that can be symbolic, philosophical, political and artistic. You won't see any traditional ballet tutus here. The troupe's 25 dancers come from no fewer than 17 different countries. What they wear reflects that diversity. We often embrace upcycling. Lots of what we use is vintage, or else is contemporary labels that lend us or give us pieces that we can then play with. So we use fashion as a tool. It's not just decoration that we use as a final visual afterthought. It's really something we spend time working on. It needs to have meaning. It helps bring the characters to life. And that's also what we're trying to do with our show. It's about leaving behind that rather academic vision of dance costumes. And instead embracing something more narrative, more cinematic. Putting on an item of clothing is about stating who you are, or it can be about transforming yourself or reclaiming yourself. So for us, working in the realm of dance, it seemed an obvious step to get in contact with these designers. They're artists who spend their time thinking about what it means to be a woman, what it means to be a man, how we navigate between these two binary identities established by society. It's also an exploration of the non-binary distinctions we're increasingly aware of. It's about how we move, how we create new characters, and these new characters are created in the world of art, but then they arrive in the wider society and society makes space for them. So for us, it's been extremely rewarding to work with these stylists and designers. La Horde is keen to explore a range of different collaborations. Recently, they choreographed a series of sumptuous fashion films for Burberry with the help of the Marseille National Ballet. Within the context of Burberry's advertising, this is a collaboration we did with Megaforce, which is a collective of directors. And of course, we are also a collective of directors, so it was a real pleasure to find a playground, experiment and talk to our peers. And we've seen what our predecessors here at the Marseille National Ballet have done. Roland Petit, for example, did some amazing collaborations with Yves Saint Laurent, Gianni Versace and even Pink Floyd with music. We are already into a very multidisciplinary approach. And so it's very natural for us to collaborate with designers or directors who share a similar approach to us. We always need to find new poetic voices and that's something you need to actively foster. You really need that desire to make connections, to go and meet people who have a different approach. That's how you create dialogue, how you create new ways of thinking and imagining. As for inspiration, the group draws heavily on Michel Foucault's ideas of heterotopias, cultural or discursive spaces that are in some way intense or unsettling. 
For example, in Weather is Sweet, it's all about desire, fantasy, emotions that aren't rooted in a specific time. Heterotopias are spaces that don't react to the time they find themselves in, spaces that create a dynamic, a consciousness of elsewhere that's completely phantasmagorical. Really, Weather is Sweet explores those ideas about desire with references to popular types of dance, club dancing, dances that aim to seduce. Simply put, the group's latest piece, called Weather is Sweet, tells the story of how the group met. In the early 2000s, La Horde's three founding members were regulars on the Parisian LGBTQ plus clubbing scene. It was very organic, really. We're friends before everything else. And I think we just had this desire to create these timeless moments together. Moments that allow us to connect with each other, to exchange, to understand the world a little better. Through a constant exchange of ideas and sources of inspiration, La Horde shines a spotlight on our shared humanity in amidst the chaos of daily life. <laughs>